now we're going to make a soft scrub. Alright, so you put about a cup of baking soda. And you're going to use liquid castile soap. This is Dr. Bonner. Bonner's liquid castile soap. You can get it at the health food store. Now some more mainstream stores are carrying this now. Martin's has it. You can get it on Amazon.com, of course. But as you can see, I use this and I love it. It's pure castile soap. Now I gotta tell you, I this one is the almond, and I love the way that mixes with everything. Um, if I wasn't gonna get the almond, I would not get one of the other scented ones because I don't know what they're sending it with, and I have my own essential oils and want to make my own scent. But you put about a quarter cup of this. See how carefully I'm measuring. <laughs> and then for a little extra oomph of cleaning power, you're gonna use vitamin C, and you put a couple of vitamin C capsules. I'm going to use three, and I'm just going to grind them up with my mortar and pestle. And this gives it a little extra cleaning room. And then I'm going to use my essential oils. I'm going to use lemon. Lemon's really good because the porcelain's white and lemon is whitening. But also, this smells so good. You know, when I first started making my own clean, my own clean products, I never used lemon because you could buy that at the store. It's not the same. I'm going to pass this around after I make it. It's not the same as the lemon and the stuff you buy in the store. This is real. This is just, you feel like you want to eat it. And again, about five drops. And you stir it around. And this is, actually, this is a good size paste. If it's too thick, you can add a little water until you get it to the consistency you want. And you can make up a batch, like when you're cleaning. But if you want to store it, you want to try to store it in a, in a colored jar, a glass jar. This is just a jelly jar, and I went to Walmart and I got this, um, this pen that, that for glass, for writing on glass, and I just colored it myself. And there's also, if you want to get fancy and give it for gifts, you can also get um, like paint that's clear stained glass type paint that you can do pretty de um, designs and everything if you want to decorate something up. But what I did is just colored it with a pen and it's clear. So this, help, this helps the um, essential oils to stay good. So, and I'm just going to stick this in here. And And I didn't measure very well, so this is this is about one use. This will clean my tub and my sink. But you can keep this around so that if you have a little something you need to clean on your counter. The only thing is with this, you if you clean a counter, you're gonna wipe it with a damp sponge afterwards because it, it it it'll um, leave a just like the soft scrub you buy in the store. It, it, you need to rainy. rinse it or wipe it. What's but, the shelf life on that? I mean, how long it, would it stay? As long as you have it tightly closed, it's, 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 it, it, it'll last indefinitely. I've never had, it, I use it up, you know, so I never, and, and generally I often just make it when I'm, when I'm using it, but it, I never, I don't know what the shelf life is, because it doesn't go bad, but if it were to harden, you could just pour some water in it and stir it up. But just keep it closed tightly, and I made a label for it, so I'll know what it is later. And that is the soft scrub. Cool.